Hi everyone, so today we are going to create this realistic explosions in Blender. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So add a circle, then press N on your keyboard to bring this panel and set the dimensions to 12. Then go into edit mode and extrude it upwards something around here and extrude it one more time again and then scale this one down to something around here extrude it one more time scale it down and move it little bit up then press F on your keyboard to fill this face now press 1 on your keyboard to come to this front view then go into wireframe mode now select all of these top faces press P on your keyboard then click on selection to separate this object now now select this object press ctrl plus a and apply the scale then come to particle system and add a new particle system to this object now we need to set the number to around 20,000 then come to this velocity section and set the normal to something like 85 and set the randomized to 30 and make sure to disable the gravity in to the field width gravity value to 0 now come to this frame start value you guys can set this to frame to whatever you guys want so I want the animation to start on something around 60 frame and it needs to be end on 66 so it will be the animation something around 6 frames so press play on your keyboard and now you guys can see after 60 frames it's started and at 60 after 66 it's stopped now you guys can see the particle are going down we need them to go upwards so to fix this we need to go into edit mode select everything then press shift plus n on your keyboard to recalculate normals now come back to object mode and again press play now you guys can see we are having our particles upwards now set the lifetime to 12 and lifetime randomness to all the way up to 1 now press play on your keyboard as you guys can see we have this and if you guys are having small small particles that means your size value is down to something around 0.1 this not matter so the size doesn't matter you guys can set the size to whatever you guys want but I want these particles to but I want these particles to visible more so I'm going with the size of one you guys can go with any size you guys want now we need to add particle system on our on our this object so select it then add a new particle system and set the number to something around 10,000 and so I want this to start on something like frame 62 and it needs to be end on something like 76 frame and lifetime can be 20 and randomness to 1 in the velocity section set the normal value to 55 and this randomize value to 2 and make sure to disable gravity by setting the gravity value to 0 in the field weight section and I am increasing the size of this as well so now press play as you guys can see we have this ok so now it's time for smoke and fire simulation so select this top object come to this object quick effects and select quick smoke so now increase the size of your domain to something around here maybe this should work now just go into edit mode select this top face press 1 on your keyboard to go to the front view now press G Z and place it here make sure it's something like this wait let me yes so this size is okay 
now come back to object mode now apply the scale of your domain as well then open this physics properties now set the resolution to whatever you guys want i am going with 64 or maybe 20 128 but for now i am going with 64 but for uh, final baking i will set it to 256 or maybe 128 but i am going with 64 just for now then come down and make sure to check this box named adaptive domain enable it and come to this vorticity section then come to this vorticity value and set it to 0.2 so now we need to set the heat value to 0.05 this controls how long the fire remains visible in the explosion then enable noise and set the scale value to 10 now come to cache and set the type to modular and make sure to enable is resumable so this way your computer will not explode while we are baking this animation so make sure set the type to modular and is resumable is enabled now we need to configure the flow object so select this object this one come to this flow source and set the flow source to the particle system that we created earlier so select that particle system here and enable set size and make sure to enable initial velocity and set its value to 2 source value to 2 so now set the flow type to fire plus smoke and set the fuel to 2 then set the sampling sub steps to 2 so now we need to work on this object so select this object add fluid physics and set the type to flow then set the flow behavior to inflow make sure the flow type is smoke not liquid make sure it's smoke now come to flow source and the same like before set the flow source to particle system and select the particle system that we created before this one and set the size value to something like 2 then make sure enable initial velocity and set the source value to 2 so if your flow object moves quickly you guys have to increase this uh, sampling sub steps value to something like 3 to 4 but i am going with 2 so now select your domain and make then come here to physics properties then click on this bake data now this will take some time give it some time to bake this simulation and i'll see you guys after this simulation is done okay so when this baking is done then come down and come down to noise and click on this bake noise to bake the noise separately now give it it now give it some time as well okay so when the noise bake is done then we have to bake the particles system as well so select this object first come to particle properties then come to cache and click on bake to bake this simulation then select this object and click on bake to bake this as well now this part is done now we have to move to materials so open up so open a new window open shader editor then select your domain we have this material now press play you guys can see this now if you guys are having this blocky shape as well what you guys have to do is just select your domain come to physics tab and set this uh, res resolution to something like 256 or 128 whatever you guys like it depends on your pc but uh, it depends on your pc so for now i am going with 64 if you guys don't want this blocky shape you guys just have to increase this subdivision you guys just have to increase this resolution value okay so now set the render region to cycles now press shift plus a add a plane here now just go into rendered mode scene world scene lights So, so now just go into rendered mode you 
you guys can see here our smoke the so select this smoke domain object and add a math node here set it to multiply and duplicate it again then add a volume info node volume info and plug the density into this multiply node and plug this multiply into this density section of our principled volume node so now I am at frame 80 come here now plug set the value of this multiply node to something like 4 and then come to this volume info node and take the flame section and plug it into this multiply node math node and plug this one into this black body intensity this will control the fire uh, this will be the fire material set the temperature to 1200k 1200k something like this and set this uh, math node value to 8 so that we can see the fire more visible in our scene now press shift plus a add a color ramp node here after this volume info node place it here and play with this color ramp node to get your desired look this one can be white something like this add another and, and set it to gray kind of something like this maybe like okay so yes i am happy with this result you guys can copy this color ramp node if you guys want or you guys can play with this to get your own look that you guys want okay i am okay with this you guys can copy this color ramp if you guys want now come to compositing tab so compositing click on this use nodes then go ahead add a glare node here and set it to bloom now come back to layout and click on this little icon and in the compositor section click on always to see the compositing as well the composite uh, the compositor help us to uh, add this more glow so now let me just uh, now if you guys are having this issue here as you guys can see we i am having this domain issue so to fix this issue what you guys have to do is just increase the scale of your domain and then apply and then bake the data that's why i have set the resolution value to 64 before so that uh, so that i can confirm how it will look if it's not good then i'm going to make some adjustment and if i am happy with my result then i can set the resolution to 256 or 128 and then i can render this and then i can bake this now i am just going to scale it up on z axis as well and then edit mode here apply the scale then click on this free data and now bake this animation again uh, now i am going with resolution of 64 as well you guys can set it to 256 or 128 now click on break data and you guys have your animation so yeah that's it for today's video if you guys have learned something make sure to hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye